The man wanted for questioning in his father's murder in Blackstone, Mass., is arrested on unrelated charges in New Jersey. And we first brought you this story as breaking news yesterday. New tonight, we're hearing from Glenn Armstrong's estranged wife. Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Wright joins us in studio with the new developments. Kelly, Mike, 280 miles away from Blackstone, Massachusetts, is Mount Laurel, New Jersey, and that's where the suspect was captured. Right now, he's charged with failing to submit to a DNA test in an unrelated case, but he's also a person of interest in his father's suspicious death, which prosecutors say appears to be a homicide. 48-year-old Glenn Armstrong is being held on half a million dollars bail at the Burlington County Jail. He was arrested in Mount Laurel, New Jersey, Thursday afternoon. It's sad that things have gotten to this point. Rachel Armstrong is the suspect's estranged wife and mother of his three kids. The couple split up in 2001. I had seen him maybe about three or four years ago at court um, with trying to be able to try and file for a divorce. Glenn Armstrong is a person of interest in the death of his father, Walter Armstrong. During a well-being check, police found the 83-year-old dead in the bedroom of his home on Summer Street in Blackstone Wednesday evening. I can't even fathom how the rest of the family feels. Police believe Armstrong fled to New Jersey in his father's pickup truck. They arrested him Thursday after staff members at Motel 8 in Mount Laurel called police to report that Armstrong was loitering on their property and refusing to leave. Armstrong told police he was in the area because he ran out of gas. Years ago, the suspect went to prison for threatening to kill President Bill Clinton. And he shouldn't be allowed within the community amongst civilization because he can't adapt. And that's an issue. Armstrong is expected to be arraigned at Uxbridge District Court. Prosecutors don't know exactly when he'll be brought back to Massachusetts. As for Walter Armstrong, the DA's office is not saying how they think he died. The agency is waiting for an autopsy to determine the cause and manner of death. Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News.